It's a marvelous place to be. It's a magical place to see. It's a wonderful world of candy. It's the Candy Kitchen. Candy Kitchen. There's a smile upon every face. A deliciously happy place. It's the place with your favorite candy. It's the Candy Kitchen. Brian Johnson with the Maryland Lottery here at Coins Pub and Restaurant in Ocean City with our summer intern, Lisa. Lisa, what have you learned thus far? Well, I've learned that you are a great, great mentor, and I couldn't ask for a better person to work with. Did I say that the way you wanted me to? Uh, perfect. Anything else? I've learned that you can play Kino and racetracks, as well as Maryland Lottery's other fun games here at Coins and at over 4,000 other Maryland Lottery retailers. Very good, Lisa, and? and that there are over 300,000 Maryland Lottery winners every single day. That's right, let me tell you about those winners. Oscar Escobar of Riverdale won $100,000 playing Casino Royale, and Lawrence Resnick of Sykesville won $50,000 playing Bonus Match 5. Wow, that's a lot of money, Mr. Johnson. Um, you don't have to call me Mr. Johnson here, just only back at the office, okay? Ooh, you have delicious Coins Pub crab cakes, mmm! Can you get him the senior menu? Huh? Sure can. Uh, okay. The Maryland Lottery. Let yourself play. Who's your daddy when it comes to the best specialty pizzas in Ocean City? Fat Daddies. What about those fresh, made-to-order subs? Fat Daddies. And don't forget the Fat Daddies wings and the extensive collection of microbrews. Fat Daddies. With two locations in Ocean City, one downtown on the corner of Dorchester and Baltimore Avenue, and one uptown on 82nd Street. Fat Daddies is set up to deliver to all of Ocean City and is open until 4 a.m. year-round. So who's your daddy in Ocean City? Fat Daddies. Extreme Zip Lines at Speed World in the Jolly Roger Amusement Park now open. The area's only zip lines fly on 1,000 feet of steel cable with breathtaking views of the ocean and bay. Experience the thrill of zipping while suspended 60 feet in the air. Quench your thirst for adrenaline between four stations, the Netwalk, the Rope Bridge, and dare you take the leap of faith? Extreme Zip Lines now open only at Speed World at the Jolly Roger Amusement Park. You've never been online like this before. There's no risk at high stakes in Fenwick Island. Everyone wins with year-round live entertainment, a great menu, and takeout with the world's best Philly cheesesteak. All food items are under $12. Support your team with plenty of big screen TVs, NFL tickets, and enter to win one of our football jersey raffles. Our staff is friendly. All ages are welcome. There's tons of parking, and we are open year-round. You're all in at high stakes. Welcome to Happy Jack's Pancake House, the oldest pancake house at the beach. Happy Jack's has been serving a mouth-watering breakfast menu for over 40 years with all your breakfast favorites, including our country breakfast. And for lunch, try our certified Angus Beef Heavy Burger. If you're looking for a great breakfast, Happy Jack's has what you want. Happy Jack's has been serving an outstanding menu with countless varieties of pancakes, waffles, omelets, and lunch. So if it's a breakfast or lunch treat for your family, bring them to Happy Jack's Pancake House on 26th Street and Coastal Highway. Mateo's Salsa Loco has been serving the area's best Mexican cuisine since 1990. Come see us at our new location in Fenwick Island, located just three blocks north of the Delaware, Maryland line, Oceanside in Lighthouse Square. Our margaritas have been voted top 10 in the country the last five years. Also check out our fresh seafood, live entertainment, and family dining room. Mateo's is your local hangout all year round. Don't forget to take home our famous hot sauces, salsa, and rubs. Mateo's Salsa Loco. Hold on there, Parrot. You got a pretty heavy claw there. Did you know you were speeding? Yes, sir, but... Okay, let's see your driver's license and registration. You don't need them here. I'm driving around Speed World. You know, Speed World, get it? Hey, you look familiar. What happened to the pirate outfit? Hey, Polly, I got you. You were fooled, right? How'd you know it was me? The disguise needs work, but hey, jump in a car and we'll race to the finish line. And the last one there's a rotten egg. Hey, watch it. <laughs> Jolly Roger, passport to fun. Jolly Roger, passport to fun. Experience the early days of aviation when men were made of steel and planes were made of wood. Fly on Cloud Dance or a two-passenger biplane in an open cockpit adventure with the wind at your face and see the beautiful beaches of Ocean City and Assateague Island. The three-passenger enclosed Cessna airplane tours take you through the scenic beaches for a thrill of a lifetime with your family or friends. Come to the gazebo at Ocean City Airport or call us for an experience you won't soon forget.
Where do you go for the taste that you love? JR's, the place for ribs. JR's is Ocean City's original place for ribs since 1980. Even though the ribs made them famous, JR's also offers phenomenal entrees like Angus steaks, crab cakes, prime rib, and seafood. Feeding the family, JR's offers a great kids' menu. Two locations, 62nd Street and at 131st Street. JR's is the place for ribs, seafood, and steaks. And don't forget the onion loaf. Just moments from Ocean City, Maryland's Beach and Boardwalk and Assateague Island National Seashore is the vibrant town of Berlin, Maryland. Nestled between U.S. Route 50 and U.S. Route 113, this Victorian village lets you enjoy life at a slower pace without giving up modern-day shopping, dining, and gallery experiences. As a nationally recognized Maryland Main Street community and a Maryland Arts and Entertainment District, Berlin is constantly adding to the already existing ambiance. The boutiques and shops in Berlin offer a unique shopping experience for both young and old. Clothing, jewelry, antiques, hip, trendy. Berlin houses several working galleries. Nationally recognized artists can be found on many streets. Local artists. Second Friday Art Stroll, Maryland Arts and Entertainment District. Enjoy casual to fine dining throughout Berlin. Fresh local ingredients are what makes the difference here. Coffee house, bakery, Sunday brunch, fine dining, luncheonette. Berlin's historic side is charming. Renovated storefronts and homes will make your visit a memorable experience. Bed and breakfast. Taylor House Museum, Atlantic Hotel, Walking Tour. The events in Berlin are never ending. Annual events, check us out. Fiddler's Convention, Peach Festival, Spring Celebration, Jazz and Blues Bash, Holiday Arts Night, the location of Paramount Pictures' Runaway Bride and Walt Disney's Tuck Everlasting just add to the allure of what Berlin, Maryland has to offer. Check out our website and make your plans to visit us soon. The number one place to be for high-energy, adrenaline-packed fun for everyone is OC Paintball. OC Paintball, featuring two new outdoor lighted fields, extreme nighttime games for totally awesome family fun. Single players and groups of all sizes are always welcome. Enjoy this fast-paced, team-oriented sport. No matter what the occasion, we have your extreme fun right here. Never played before? Mention this ad and we'll give you five bucks off to try it. It's back, OC Paintball. Let the games begin. Thank you for calling Doctors Medical Center. We're closed. Please listen carefully as our prompts have changed. To hear our hours of service, address, or fax number, press 1. To learn about our patient appreciation program, press 2. If you're calling with a medical question, please press 3. Please listen carefully as our prompts have changed. Hi, this is 75th Street Medical. How can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. 75th Street Medical, providing urgent care and family medicine to the community for over 19 years. Are you looking for a dining experience that's out of this world? Galaxy 66 Bar & Grill is where you need to be. Indulge yourself with fabulous culinary creations. See and be seen at our fabulous Star Bar. Or hang out with the stars at the amazing Rooftop Sky Bar. Enjoy a bottle or glass of wine from our extensive wine menu or specialty martinis that are to die for. Galaxy 66. Drink, dance and dine in a beautiful, modern and eclectic atmosphere. My great-grandfather lived on Ayers Creek and he depended on Ayers Creek for his living. He, in the summertime, used a gill net to catch fish and then he would take them home and salt them down for storage for the season. And in the spring and the fall would harvest trees to sell to a local lumber yard. And in the winter he would hunt deer and ducks and geese and sometimes, uh, you know, they had to take advantage of what was available and so they might trap muskrat or uh, raccoon or whatever they 
could find. They were opportunistic. And so he really survived off of uh, what Ayers Creek and the uh, surrounding area had to offer. And now my wife and I are doing that in a very different way through our kayak adventure business where we take people out and educate them about the natural environment and share with them the stories about my great-grandfather. And then uh, my father, when he was growing up as a boy on Ayers Creek, would, uh, there used to be a, where the Ayers Creek Bridge is today, there used to be a one-lane wooden bridge there. And he told me that when he was a boy, it was a uh, big excitement to have one car come by a day. And he and his little cousin would uh, hear the car coming and run to a, an area where they could see the bridge. So that was their excitement for the day. Of course, now, hundreds of cars cross Ayers Creek every day. Ayers Creek has changed a lot uh, based on what my grandfather tells me. He says that it used to be very narrow and very deep. And now the creek is much wider and much shallower than it used to be. And there are even stories in the community where sailing ships used to sail up to Ayers Creek Bridge to bring in goods for the community. And of course, that's just not possible today, as shallow as it is. I think that there was a time when there was a lot less wildlife on Ayers Creek. And that was probably in the, in the 50s and 60s when there was a lot more agriculture activity and there was more of an impact on wildlife. And so now I think we're seeing a rebound in terms of the birds that we see, the uh, number of fish that we see in the creek. And so I think that Ayers Creek is getting healthier than it was back in the 60s. I think Ayers Creek is recovering because there's been a lot of effort on uh, water quality issues, habitat recovery kinds of projects and just more attention drawn to the environment. Ayers Creek is very serene. Uh, it's very protected from the wind. Uh, it's a very calm waterway. We don't have a lot of waves and so it's a very peaceful kind of setting. We see a lot of different types of birds, a lot of wildlife in general and so it's a very relaxing kind of atmosphere and I think people really enjoy that part of it.